Hi guys, so this is a quick video for you on how to make some fresh pasta. I'll be showing you two different techniques. The first one is the traditional way of doing it by hand using something called the well method. And the second technique is using a food processor and a pasta roller, which is just a little bit quicker. Just to keep things simple, I'll be using the same ingredients for both techniques. So here we have some all-purpose flour, some eggs, some olive oil, and some sea salt. Let's go ahead and start with the well method. I'm going to show you a couple of tips that's going to make it impossible for you to mess this up. My first tip is to actually crack your eggs into a separate bowl. I'm just going to add in my sea salt, a little olive oil, and just give it a stir. My second tip is to use a plate, something like this with edges. That way if anything goes wrong or spills, you'll still be able to save your pasta dough. So I'm using the tips of my fingers to create a well, which is where the technique gets its name from. You should be able to see the bottom of the plate. Next I'm adding in the flour little by little and I'm following that with my fork in a circular motion until I have something wet that looks like this. So my bench scraper just helps me mix everything together. Now I'm going to start kneading my dough. If you notice I'm not pushing down but I'm going in a forward motion. If this is your first time kneading you might want to go like this. Go left and right. Left and right. The finger test just helps me see where my dough is at. So I can tell this needs another couple of minutes. About seven minutes later, I can tell my dough is ready to be shaped. So I'm just using the bottom of my fingers to create a circle. See, it's just the side of my hands. Just gonna go ahead and wrap that up tightly. And the olive oil just helps things stay nice and moist so it doesn't dry out. I'm gonna cover that up and leave it to the side for about half an hour. Now that my dough is well rested, I can go ahead and start rolling it out. A little bit of flour helps to keep things from sticking. With my rolling pin, I'm going back and forth till I get something like a rectangular shape. I'm folding it in half just to make it easier for me to cut my parpadelle. So here I'm trimming off my edges. I'm gonna make some wide cuts doesn't have to be perfect. Next I'm just wrapping that around my finger to create something like a nice little bundle. And there it is. Let's go ahead and do some more shapes. This time, I'm gonna hand cut some fettuccine. You can either fold your pasta sheet in half and cut lengthwise, just like we did for the parpadel. Or, to get an even more accurate cut, roll up your pasta sheet like this till it looks like a cigar. Trim off your edges and make your cuts. By the way, at this stage, if you wanted to freeze your pasta, you could lay this on some wax paper right in the freezer for about half an hour. Once it's frozen enough, you could go ahead and toss that into a Ziploc bag and I'll have fresh pasta for the rest of the month. So make a little extra. So the next technique I'm gonna show you is using a food processor and a pasta machine. 
if you're a little too worried about making pasta all by hand, or you're in a bit of a rush and you want a quick dinner with some fresh pasta, this method works great too. So we're going to start it the same way with some egg, sea salt and olive oil, and I'm just going to give that a few pulses like this. Next I'm adding in a cup of flour. I could add a bit more, but I want it to be a wet consistency by the time it's out of this food processor. Pasta is something that should be felt with your hands. So when it comes together like this, I know that I can at least work with it right on my counter. So I'm going to dump that out and I'm just going to do the same exact process that we discussed earlier. So I'm bringing that together with my hands, doing the kneading process from left and right, left and right, shaping it with the curve of my hand and then letting that sit for another half an hour. Pasta machines have different numbers, so I'm starting with the highest number, which is nine on my pasta machine. And I run my pasta sheet through that twice. And then I go down to eight and I do the same thing, and then seven and then six, until I reach number two. Here I'm adding my attachment and rolling out some fresh spaghetti. Fresh pasta is a beautiful thing. I'm sure you're craving some spaghetti bolognese for dinner tomorrow. See, once you have your fresh pasta sheets, the possibilities are endless. Just follow the same methods by trimming off the edges, folding it in half so you get a better idea of the length. Then you can do whatever you want. You can do some lasagnas. Maybe make some ravioli, whatever you're craving. Once you learn the technique, the sky's the limit. This is a butternut squash ravioli with pecorino and a little bit of pine nut butter. Now that you know the basics, don't be afraid to experiment. Check your fridge for some leftover veggies or your pantry for some dry items. Enjoy guys. I hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching.